This is a Victor Series 700 machine, first made in the 1940s. It has a keyboard with 10 green plastic buttons, a combined repeat and subtraction switch up here, a totaling switch over here, and this brazier shaped button over here. It's got a sliding digit indicator and a printing mechanism up top. The case is solid, brown, polished, Bakelite. Classy. The history of this particular machine goes all the way back to 1911 with this thing. This is the Sunstrand adding machine invented in 1911 by David Sunstrand. Its major innovation was that it only had 10 number keys in the front. See, every other machine of that era had a big array of buttons, 1 through 9, in each digit position. The Sunstrand design came to be known as a 10-key machine, while the other style was called a full keyboard machine. The 10-key arrangement to us seems pretty familiar because it's the only arrangement we ever use today for calculators, but it was really a big innovation at the time. Sunstrand's company made that adding machine for a few years, and they made other kinds of machines too. Eventually, their whole adding machine business got bought out by Underwood, which at the time was the world's biggest typewriter company. Now pay attention, because this next part is a little confusing. David Sunstrand wanted to keep on making that other stuff that his company was making, but his brother, Otto Sunstrand, wanted to keep on making adding machines. So Otto left the Sunstrand company and went to work for Underwood. This is David. This is Otto. This is a mixture of David and Otto. This is my son Strand. I created him. There were only two, now there are three, because I create... Anyway, Otto went to Underwood, and they produced a line of machines called the Underwood Sun Strand. I did a video about one of those. That machine is big and ugly. There's nothing really classy about it. Now, the Victor Company had gotten its start in 1917, making big black metal machines. By the late 30s, under heavy competition from Burroughs, the Victor Company needed a bold new product, so they hired an old industry legend. I think you know where I'm going with this. Otto Sunstrand went to work for the Victor Company. He rekindled that old Sunstrand magic and came up with this machine, the Victor Model 700. This thing was marketed as a companion to the Victor Model 600, which had the full keyboard. Really, they're two completely different machines, but they made them the same size, the same price, even the same color scheme. So it felt like they were two different versions of the same machine. I actually have a Victor Model 600 too. I did a video about it. But my two machines are from two slightly different eras, so they don't match. Anyway, let's say I want to do this addition. You just type each number, you pull the crank. Each time you pull the crank, it prints the number you just typed. And then to get the total, you push this total button down with your thumb while you're doing the crank. That'll print the total and also reset the machine to zero. You could also reach across like a fool and push the button that way, but you're meant to use your thumb like I just did. Thanks to my faithful viewer, John Willis. He told me how to do this properly in a comment on my video for the 600. I salute you, Dr. Willis. Over here is a repeat switch you can use for multiplying. Then they got this brazier style button over here. Actually, I don't think anyone ever calls it that, but I love the button so much I think it deserves a fancy name. It's the perfect shape for what it does, and I know you can't tell, but it feels really good when you push it. This little window here is a digit indicator. You know, the full keyboard machines, people are used to being able to see which keys they press. But on the 10 key, there's no real feedback. That's why they made this thing. It moves over once for each digit you type in. It doesn't tell you which numbers you press. It always just says one, two, three. But at least it gives you some reassurance that something's happening in there. If you mess up your number while you're typing it in, you hit this guy and it'll undo your bogus input. Sunstrand's 10 key design is actually better at multiplication than the full keyboard. See, to multiply on a full keyboard machine, you have to add your number repeatedly and shift it to the left to move from one digit to the next. Like if I want to do 75 times 12, put the repeat on, type the 12 on the machine. You add it five times in the ones position. Then you shift it over and add it seven times in the tens position. 
Now some really fancy machines like this Monroe Model L, they had a digit shifting lever so you don't have to retype the digits yourself in between steps. So you can type the 12, crank it five times, then shift to the left and crank it seven times. You know I love that digit shifter, but it's a complicated design and it makes the machine a lot more expensive. On a 10 key machine, it's super easy to shift to the left. You just type a zero. See, I type in 12, crank it five times. Then I just hit zero. That shifts it to the left by a digit and I crank it seven times. Victor 700, it's a solid machine. Internally, it's pretty similar to the Sunstrand machine, but to me, the best thing about it is the look of it. You know what? They told me not to say it, but whatever. I'm just going to say it. The Bakelite Victor Model 700 is the best-looking classic adding machine ever. Come at me. I said it. All the early adding machines had really boxy designs. They had rounded edges, but it was mostly rectangular shapes with straight lines and right angles. But this thing, there's almost no straight lines, no right angles. It's all about curves. It doesn't look like it was designed by an engineer, but by an artist. Look at this. It's even got curves on the bottom of the case. I don't know if anybody cared back then, but to me, this is a perfect design. Somebody at Victor took an old design and presented it in a new way. It took something that had been kind of lifeless and injected some heart into it. And I can relate. You know, I like to find old things and present them in a new way with some enthusiasm, even a bit of soul and emotion. But you probably already know that about me. I suppose that's the main reason why I created my own new Sunstrand.